Wolf Blitzer had Mitt Romney on CNN's The Situation Room, and then he proceeded to bring CNN to a new low. While I have you, Governor Romney, a few political questions, because it's been on the minds of a lot of folks over the past few weeks. Uh, would you consider running for president a third time in 2016? And no, I've answered that question a number of times, as you know, and the answer is no. I'm not running for president in 2016. It's, uh, it's the time for someone else to take that, uh, that responsibility, and I'll be supporting our nominee, and, and there's some very good people who are taking a very good look at that race. A lot of people are wondering, maybe you might change your mind. Look at some of these recent polls in New Hampshire. These are Republicans. Poll came out, who would be your choice for the 2016 Republican presidential nominee? Romney, 25 percent. Rand Paul, 18. Chris Christie, 17. Jeb Bush, 13. Ted Cruz, 7 percent. And then there was a poll that came out in, uh, in, in early, a little bit earlier uh, in November, and, and, and this was a Washington Post ABC News poll, registered voters nationwide. If the election were today, this was a year after the election, who would you vote for? Obama, 45 percent. Romney, 49 percent. So you see those numbers. You see some of the uh, folks out there in the Republican Party saying, well, Mitt Romney, maybe you should reconsider. What say you? Well, I appreciate the compliment. <laughs> it's better than a kick in the teeth. Uh, at the same time, I'm absolutely convinced that there are other people who would have a better chance of becoming the nominee and becoming uh, the next president of the United States. Uh, Mitt Romney? Mitt Romney. Did you really just ask if Mitt Romney's going to run for president again? Wolf. Wolfie. Control yourself. And he went on with it, too. Like, he structured the segment so that he could, hey, look, here's some poll numbers. Hey, look, you didn't do too bad afterwards when there was a scandal with Obama and everybody hated him. It looked like you would have won if the race was held then. Uh, are we serious people? What do we do? Just pick from a whole, just pick from a group of people who are part of this ruling and established elite. And you have this, this minimal amount of choices, and then we pretend like it's a democracy. When in reality, it's a kleptocracy, or a plutocracy, or an oligarchy. It's government of, by, and for the rich. Of, by, and for the powerful and the well-to-do. Look, to suggest that this human robot version of Thurston Howell III from Gilligan's Island would have a shot again, or should have a shot again, or is really somebody who can connect with the regular guy and understand his plight and understand how to make policy that supports him. This is lunacy. This is lunacy. And look, it goes to uh, another main difference between the Republican Party and everybody else, basically. Not even just the difference between the Republican Party and Democrats. Difference between Republicans and everybody else that's not part of that tribalistic, creepy group. It, what they are is a cult of personality. They're not a party of ideas. They're a cult of personality. And what evidence do you need for that? Well, you're looking at it right here. But also think of like Ronald Reagan, for example. Ronald Reagan is held up in this way that is so, like, you know, saintly and through rose-colored glasses and, like, he's the Emperor Overlord Saint Chancellor Great One Ronald Reagan. Like, uh, that, you don't see, yes, liberals have their own people where, where they look at them and they say, okay, well, we largely agree with this person or this person we think was the best out of, out of the, the group given, right? But you don't see that same kind of, like, hero worship and, you know, God creation out of nothing, you know? There's plenty of progressives that don't like Obama, myself included. Me, Glenn Greenwald, Jeremy Scahill, Cenk Uger of TYT, plenty of other members of TYT, Tom Hartman has issues with them, uh, Mike Papantonio and other... I could go on and on of all the different uh, progressives that have problems with, with uh, certain policies that Obama's put forth. You don't see that on the right. You see, uh, Reagan's right about everything. Really? Do you even know what he did? Nobody's right about everything. And only th with a party like that, that's a cult of personality, can you get a situation where they just revert into old habits, right? They just go, who's running? I don't know. It's got to be like Sarah Palin and Mike Huckabee and maybe Rick Santorum again or Mitt Romney again. So in other words, you're going to have the same fucking group of people that were out there in 2008, the same group of people that were there in 2012, and you're going to just keep, it's just, it's like, it's like a fucking washing machine. Rinse and repeat every single time. Every single time, just boom, there's one cycle, just come back for another cycle. And you're not getting anywhere. 
You're not getting more popular. You're not actually selling ideas. But that's the point is they don't have any ideas to sell. If they did, they would sell them. If they actually had policies that would make the country better and that are innovative and smart and would take us into the next century and make America uh, have the booming middle class again and all these great things, they would talk about those things if they had those things. They don't have those things. Because again, they're not a party of ideas. They're a cult of personality.